So guys, have you heard that Twitter decided to put a new CEO pony in the stable? That's right. Linda Yaccarino, also known as the Velvet Hammer, probably because she can negotiate you into submission while still making you feel like a silk massage. Let's talk about Elon Musk for a second. This guy buys Twitter for $44 billion and then proceeds to tell everyone that being CEO of Twitter is a painful job that only a fool would take on. <sighs> I mean, with that kind of endorsement, who wouldn't want to sign up? Anyway, back to our Velvet Hammer. Good old Lindas come from the advertising world. You know, making billions of dollars selling stuff to people who probably don't need it. Sounds like the perfect person to deal with chaos at Twitter, right? Cool, Linda's already started taking charge. She told Elon Musk to maybe, you know, not tweet after 3 a.m. I mean, seems like reasonable advice for anyone. But when she suggested Elon should be held to a higher standard, he pulls out the old diminishment of freedom of speech card. Classic Elon, am I right? Ground control the major... Now, um, let's take a look at Linda's own social media habits. Apparently, she's been liking tweets from both conservative and liberal figures. I guess that makes her equally loved and hated. Kinda like, I don't know, a cheap fast food burger? Anyway, can Linda, our velvet-wielding advertising guru, fix Twitter's issues? Can advertisers start sending their dough to a platform known for, no, not being the most ad-friendly? Ah. I guess time will tell, folks. Uh, but here's the fun part. Elon has promised to leave business operations to Linda. I mean, I can't remember the last time someone's word worked out so well. I think it went like, oh, wait, it never happened. So will Elon actually give our Velvet Hammer enough room to swing? <laughs> we'll just have to see if she can fix the Twitter mayhem. One smooth velvety swing at a time. This podcast is brought to you by AI Pictures.